There's one other thing we should talk about. When Arn and I were buried in all of that wreckage, we didn't dig ourselves out. We had help. From who? From some long-lost friends. Kira. Scourge. We meet again, at last. Wait. You're the one who attacked me on Mech Shaw. You've been following me, watching me. Why? A necessary test. And you passed. What are you talking about? The Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Valkorion. Whatever his name. He was a part of you. We all felt his destruction, but he has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. I'm so glad to see you both. After all these years, I would feared the worst. Ours has not been an easy road. There is much to tell, but we can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessa. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. It's still hard to believe that you're both back after all this time. To be fair, we weren't the ones who disappeared in the first place. True. We weren't the ones who charged away aboard an exploding ship. All of those years without you. It wasn't easy. I was a nervous wreck wondering what had really happened to you. I guess what I'm saying is, never worry me like that again, okay? It sounds like there's more you want to say, Kira. Well, there is, actually. We should talk later. Why don't you tell me what's been going on? As I told you on Carrick Station, Tenebrae's last gruesome weapon. He sought immortality, but only his endless spite survives now. In your absence, I received guidance from an old ally. The path to our enemy's ultimate death was unfolding, and we had a crucial part to play. Tenebrae hid his original body where no one could harm it. As long as that body remained in stasis, the galaxy's greatest evil could never truly be killed. Unless we destroyed Tenebrae, the fight against Valkorion would never really be over. Since Valkorion is gone, I assume you succeeded. We did. As we later learned, we destroyed his first body just as you purged the last vestige of his twisted spirit from your mind. That is when his final weapon was unleashed. A Sith ritual, carved into his very flesh, unleashed an ancient plague from every molecule of his decaying corpse. We were both knocked out cold, comatose for more than a year. Satil Shan was the one who finally pulled us out of that nightmare and started a new one. Since we had both been vessels for Tenebrae's power in the past, we were both protected to a large degree, like a vaccine. But Satil had no such protection, nor did any of her followers. Within days, they were all laid low, trapped in a nightmarish slumber. In helping us, they unknowingly doomed themselves. That's terrible. I'll do anything I can to help you save them. I knew you would, but there's more. The infection is worsening. There is a darkness growing among the afflicted. We can feel their minds connecting, communicating. We're afraid they might be merging somehow. Merging into what? Another Valkorion? Is this plague bringing him back somehow? It's too early to make that conclusion. Whatever it is. It is immensely dangerous. We must stop it. How? We loaded Satil and all of her followers onto a transport to keep them quarantined, along with a few medroids to tend to them. The transport is programmed to fly a random course through unsettled sectors of the Outer Rim, all weeks away from civilization. 
I can send a signal to alter the course. Bring it to another empty system that's closer so that we can meet it in a shuttle. We board the ship and connect our minds with yours through the Force. Together, we will face this entity and purge it from existence. And if we cannot purge it, then we destroy the transport and hope we've ended the old monster's schemes forever. Send the signal. If what you say is true, this thing could be getting stronger by the minute. I'll send the signal right away. It'll be a while before the ship comes back into range. Scourge, did you...? Yes. There is a private matter we should discuss. The sooner the better. Nice digs. Sure beats where Scourge and I stayed for the last few years. So, about what I said back there. I've always cared about you, as a friend and a mentor. But when you left, I went a little crazy. Stole a ship and tried to fly after you, till Scourge stopped me. I haven't lost control like that since my days on Korriban. I just couldn't stand the thought of losing you. It took your disappearance to finally realize that... Well... It's okay, Kira. Just say it. I think I might have always been... A little... In love with you? More than a little? I know it's weird to say this so suddenly, but I've kept it bottled up for so long. It just... It needed to come out. So, that's it. Cards on the table. What do you think? I think I'm... more than a little in love with you, too. You... seriously? No joke? Can you... say it again? I love you, Kira. That might be the best thing I've heard in my entire life. This is a brand new start for us. You and me, till the end. I can't wait. What you've built here is no small feat. You've done well for yourself. Destroying the Emperor, claiming his throne. You have accomplished even more than I'd hoped for. I couldn't have done it without you, even if I didn't know it all this time. I swore I would help you defeat him, and I don't make promises lightly. There is something else I wish to speak with you about. The Emperor's destruction had a profound effect on me. Something beyond the disease his death unleashed. My immortality is... Gone. For three hundred years, I thought I would be content to accept my end, should the time come. But my new mortality has... unforeseen effects. Like what, exactly? Emotions and sensations I'd long forgotten have taken hold again. I am compelled to fight for something I believe in, and... I have realized how important to me our old crew had become. Especially you, Jedi. I feel the need to remain by your side, and I don't know what to make of it. But I would do anything to keep you safe. Do you understand? The most important part of life is the bonds we form. You finally feel that. It will take some getting used to. But I'm already beginning to like it. I cannot predict what the future holds. But I will be here to help you face it. <laughs> <laughs>